Okay, hi. Um, just had some requests for um, some information on how to bind the Beta FPV TXO2 with the Beta FPV F3 V2, which is in this inside here. Right, with the quad first, I'll explain how to do it and then I'll try to show you. I don't know if it'll work, it's pretty awkward. But uh, if you can see, the bind button is there. So you press that bind button, you hold it pressed and you apply power with a battery. What you get then is a solid LED, a solid red LED to indicate that the bind process is initialized. Otherwise it'll be flashing and you know it's not working. Um, once that's gone to solid, that's in bind, you can leave it plugged in and then with your TXO2, this button here, you push it down, not up, down, left or right, but actually vertically down. You just push like a push button and you power on at the same time. Warned me that the throttle was wrong. Sorry, that's because the throttle was on. So, yeah, you get the nice Star Wars theme down. That's how you know it's in bind mode and that light was flashing. So, what will happen then is your, your solid LED and this one, if the bind works, will go out. It will it'll stop being solid, it'll go out, and it's bound. So, then you just unplug. Unplug the power, plug it back in, and you're good to go. Now, if I then power this up, this is obviously already bound. Now, to arm it, you have channels here. That's one channel, and that's the other channel. This channel is on or off, so that's now armed. This channel I've got set its three positions. That's air mode, and that's level mode. So you set them up in beta flight. Obviously, once you've bound, they'll, they'll, those channels will show up, and you can assign them in beta flight to whatever you want. But that's how I've got it set up. OK, so yeah, that's it. That's how it's done. Um, I can attempt to show you, but I don't know if it'll work, because it's, it's ever so awkward. But yeah, if you just hold that button in, apply power, your light goes solid, you turn your transmitter on with that button pressed down and it should work. Now, my transmitter is actually the Tiny X8 version. Um, so I had to put D8 mode on there, which is done by us. I don't think you need to do that with the uh, with the beta FPV version, so you should be good to go. Okay, I will try. I'll, you can stop watching there, but I'll if you want to have a giggle, I'll try and bind it, and uh, we'll see if that uh, if I can manage it. Should be fun. If I just rest that in there a little bit, not enough to connect. I'll try and press this button. push the power in and there we are you can see that LED flashed very quickly and then went solid so all the LEDs are solid so I press my button I turn on and the LED's gone off there you go you saw that happen success ray okay so that's it so then it says you power off Power back on. And we're good to go. So yeah, that's it. Great. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody. And uh, cheers. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.